outside? And what is a micro adventure? And what's different? What what's different from a macro adventure? Because that's a term that's kind of gained momentum in the last few years. Um, my question, if I was a viewer, would be like, well, what is a micro adventure? So if anyone wants to kick that that off from their perspective. So when I think about micro adventures, I like to conceptualize it by like who is doing them, and I think one really important aspect of that it, it, it ties into like the traditional city dweller, someone who has like a tr like a traditional Monday through Friday job and is either doing a two day weekend trip or an afternoon trip or a Saturday trip or even three days, but it is something they can do within that framework of their you know normal lives, whatever that may mean. Um, so you know that kind of most of the time makes it so it's really close by because you don't want to travel too much. Um, and you know I think a lot of it also. Uh, is about the mindset you have because we do a lot of things that are in New York City and it's not as wild as you know Acadia or the Adirondacks or whatever it may be um, but if you can kind of like transition in how you're thinking about it into this is an adventure it's just like what you make of it exactly it becomes um, you know it just opens up a whole world that's really accessible so uh, and I, I have a feeling from the conversations I've had already today that a lot of people agree that especially people who are in New York City, we're really busy working, hustling, doing a million different things that uh, set planning a micro adventure or something that's small, like a weekend trip or a one or two day getaway is easier to do. It's more realistic. Like it's, it could be something you plan months in advance or that day, I'm just going to go hiking on a local trail today. And that's something that people might be more open to. And just lifestyle-wise, there are more people who are open to being more active and trying new things, whether you know it's something in a gym or outdoors, if it's hiking, swimming, running, biking, camping, they, they want to be doing that and now there are more brands and different things that are supporting that kind of lifestyle, so uh, testing it out and having a smaller trip, if you're not someone who's done some big week or two week long adventure, that's a great way to feel it out. This conversation couldn't continue. It doesn't have to end just because we are going to walk out of the room. Um, I hope everybody kind of continues to interact with each other um, throughout the weekend and make the most of the opportunity to kind of be here together as a community and um, introducing yourselves and saying hello to people. Um, and especially uh, this panel here is an incredible resource of information um, in the area. So um, please, please feel free to ask us questions and thanks for your time and listening to us and sitting in the hot room. <laughs>